It's gonna be ugly on my backhand side. Ah, that's why we're going. But I will do my best. We're here, that's why we're here. Do my best, Coach Eric. Yes. Deep. Ah, sorry. All right, come on, come on, come on. Come on, last couple. And we get a drink. Yeah, you got it. Use your legs a little more on that backhand. Green. Ian has done exceptionally well. I, I, I think he, he was pretty tired after the first uh, couple of sessions. And um, it gave me a good chance to see where his game is and how we can help him move forward and, and improve on certain things. And some things we're gonna address today are definitely return of serve. Um, I wanna see what happens when, when we serve to Ian, especially his backhand. He he's, feels like that's uh, an area that he needs to improve the most. So we're gonna try to improve that area of his game. My session today with Coach Eric was, was great, super productive, except for one area. My backhand, I feel like, just really disappeared today, the, the new one. The fact that I'm hitting it at all, I'm, I'm happy about. And there, there definitely, there were some individual good swings, but as he, this our third session as he starts to try to push me more, stress me more, uh, try to stretch my you know ability and my capacity. Today was just kind of a, a snowball effect on that backhand side, and it really just kind of started to go away and break down. It was a really uncomfortable feeling, but it motivates me to get back out onto the court on my own, on my own time, and keep putting in more reps. Because with the ball machine, you know, when it's an easy feed down the middle, the same ball over and over, I'm, I'm starting to feel pretty solid about it. I'm starting to feel pretty comfortable and confident with it. But, but today, we did some dynamic, you know, moving back and forth. We did some return to serve. And it really exposed where that new swing is just not ready for any kind of significant stress yet. So in the moment, it was definitely frustrating and uh, definitely felt kind of kind of helpless and like I just didn't have a whole lot that I could do. But again, I feel like that kind of kind of motivates me and pushes me to keep putting in more repetitions because the upside is I see that there's there's potential there. Like it's moving in the right direction. But today, I felt like it it just really got exposed in, in a big way. Yeah, and on that backhand, yeah. Let's try to come over these backhands a little bit with top spin, yeah? <laughs> Gotta get that confidence on that backhand. Yeah. That's right. Sorry? The first thing we did today was super basic. We just did some cross-court rallies on my backhand side. <clears throat> and I just felt like I was constantly falling back. And I, I think that's just my subconscious trying to like buy myself time because if you've watched the videos where I talk about my backhand overhaul, you'll know that I'm, I'm making a much bigger kind of coil. And sometimes I'm getting that posi position, but a lot of times I'm way short of it, but it's still a much bigger path than what I was used to in the past. And my contact point in the past was like really scrunched up and like close to my body. So I'm fighting the habit of my old contact point and I'm fighting the timing change of needing a lot more time to make my way all the way around that bigger coil that I'm making. So the combination of those two things, like I'm, I'm waiting, 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 and my subconscious kind of senses like, oh, I need more time, I need more time. And without wanting to do it, I'm like backing off away from the ball and I'm, I'm backing off the rally. If you watch my match against Ira, you know, you saw a ton of that where I was like cutting back, cutting back, cutting back. Like I was constantly trying to buy myself a little bit more time, a little bit more time. And that's not gonna cut it against a, a person who's hitting strong ground strokes. Not there yet. Here we go, here we go. It's all right, remember to try to stay sideways on those. If it comes hard, sideways. <laughs> and make a line with your hands at the finish. Yeah. So today, as Eric, as Eric was just pretty casual, you know, for him, like casually, you know, rallying cross court, I, I, ha I don't have my new habits to that level of stress test yet. And so I hit a couple individual shots that I, I honestly, I felt really good about, 
but overall, I already was starting to feel stressed. And, and that, was, that was just like step one in Eric's plan today to really kind of test, test the backhand shot. If you're enjoying seeing this behind the scenes look at, at my training and my preparation, do me a favor and click the, the like button. If it's brought you any inspiration or given you any ideas on what you can do for your, your own match preparation, your own development as a player, it really means a lot to me that you're watching and that you appreciate the work that I'm putting in and putting myself out there by publishing it. So click that, that like button, it helps the video. Thank you so much. We're gonna mix it up a little. Okay. We're gonna play one top spin and one slice. Just back, right. and back and forth? Yep, okay. one top spin, one slice. Spin, slice. Good. Spin, slice. Ah, here you go. Next, Eric had me just alternate. And here, I think he's just trying to test me out, like see what, what I have available to me in terms of dealing with a more dynamic rally exchange. And this is where you really start to see me fall behind and be really late. The target was cross courts, but most of my drives kind of went to the center of the court. A couple of them even like just down the line. Like I'm trying to find the right contact point, but again, I'm just constantly kind of behind in the, in the swing. And that additional challenge, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, especially when I'm usually so comfortable with my slice, but the ad additional challenge of having a transition back and forth from topspin shot to slice shot, these little kind of wrinkles of additional little bit of stress and challenge just starts to really make me feel lost with the positions, like lost with like where my hand, my racket face needs to be, lost with how far I need to, to turn and coil to get to the right position. And so just adding that little bit of extra challenge, um, just, again, kind of started to snowball a little bit and make me feel a little bit more uncomfortable with that new topspin shot. Next, Eric started to hit some serves to my backhand from the service line. And this is where things really just started to, to fall apart because the timing of that we're, we're cutting my time down even more, which is what I've been struggling for and kind of fighting for to try to find the right contact point. So he was asking me to return to the middle of the court and I just hit, just, it looks like I was aiming, probably on the video it's gonna look like I was just trying to hit down the alley again and again and again. I was not trying to hit the alley. I was not trying to hit down the line. I was trying to hit to the middle of the court. And this is where I really just kind of started getting frustrated and yelled at myself to like, I just got to get it out in front somehow. This is as a coach and as like a teacher, that awareness of knowing what I'm supposed to be doing. Like I know what I, what I should do to get the result that Eric is asking me to do, but my body is just not doing it in this, for me, you know, this is a standard position for a good tennis player, but I haven't hit returns to serve with my new swing yet. These, uh, this is a, it's actually just dawning on me right now. These are the first returns of serve I've ever hit with the new backhand. And so for me, just way above my capacity to do it right at the moment. And again, just behind on absolutely everything. And that was really frustrating for me to know, like I know the solution to that, but my old habit and old training is just still kind of pulling me back. If you're enjoying watching me train and work hard and it's inspiring you to work on your own game, then go to EssentialTennisAcademy.com. It's our most complete and comprehensive online training program for tennis players. And right now you can get inside for free for a full seven days. So go check it out. Yeah, and we're going forehand this time. Forehand yep. return. And then I'm gonna give you a backhand and a forehand, okay? All okay. right. I want you to just get there with time and play that solid ball, cross court. Cross court backhand, top spin, cross court forehand, top spin. Okay. Then Eric tested the backhand by hitting me a, a forehand return of serve and then feeding me kind of a, a rally ball all the way across the, the baseline to my backhand side. Again, should be a standard you know, skill. Hit a return, hit a cross court rally ball. But the... <laughs> 
that A, how tired I was, and B, adding that dynamic movement across the baseline and then trying to do the new movement. Uh, again, I just felt so unbelievably late. He was asking me to hit a cross-court rally ball and everything was going to the middle or even down the line, just unbelievably late. It's just not there. It's not to that point where I can do that much movement uh, move in a, in a dynamic way from shot to shot to shot and then do the new thing right. When my fitness is, is not where it needs to be and my repetitions on the new backhand aren't where they need to be yet, it's just today was just not there. It was just falling apart today. So frustrating for sure in the moment, but it gives an opportunity. Like I, I know now exactly what I should do. And in my ball machine training, uh, I'm going to start moving away from the middle and I'm going to start doing some movement and hitting the ball. I've gotten to a point where I probably am over comfortable. The ball machine training I've been doing has exclusively been down the middle until just like my last session. I need to start doing more movement. It doesn't have to be stressful, just anything to start getting some comfort level moving out to my right and doing the, the new backhand. And that's just the work I have to do at this point. And today was, was definitely difficult and challenging mentally. It was frustrating. But it also shows me exactly what I need to do and what I need to focus on to get that big historical weakness of mine to where it needs to be. The good news is, like, when the challenge is managed, I can, like, I can do it. Like, I'm physically capable of hitting the backhand I want to hit. I just can't do it under stress yet. I can't do it under pressure. Can't do it when my body is tired and like trying to survive. Like I can't do it in that setting yet, but I know I'll, I'll get there eventually. So if you enjoyed today's session, if you enjoyed seeing this behind the scenes look at my, my training, do me a favor, click the like button. I really appreciate your support. Just, just by being here and watching really helps me so much. It means, means the world to me. I'd, I'd always love to hear. I'm curious about your thoughts. Let me know in the comments uh, down below if there's anything else you'd like to see or any suggestions for, for future lessons. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. I'll keep working hard.